Live at the International Storytelling Center in Jonesboro continues this week with David Novak spinning eclectic and original stories for children and adults. And this morning he joins us on daytime. And I want to get into this really quick. I want to give folks a sample, just a small sample of what they can expect from your storytelling this week. So take it away. All right, Chris. Well, this is a story about a boy named Jason. and His dad gave him a bag of marbles. He thought that was kind of boring in this age of devices, you know, but it was so bright and colorful it caught his attention after all. He saw that there were cat's eyes and steelies and aggies, but the one that it fascinated him the most was the crystal cleary. Made rainbows out of the sunshine, so he carried it with him everywhere he went. He went out on the boat one day to see to see the fishermen catching their fish and he was holding that marble as he w rode the boat and when the fish jumped up at him it startled him so much he went ah <gasps> oh and he dropped that marble off the boat into the sea down under the waves it disappeared and he began to cry <laughs> Bright, round rolling tears fell from his eyes and he said I want my marble back so he jumped into the water went right down under the waves looking for his marble, and sure enough, he found a marble floating there in the waves. But when he got close, he saw it wasn't an actual marble. It was just the eye of a fish swimming past. So he kept on swimming deeper on down, and he found two marbles that were the eyes of a crab crawling around. He kept on looking for his marble. He swam deeper and deeper and farther out to sea, past the sharks, mm, cruising the depths. He went deeper and deeper on down into the ocean, looking for his marble, and he met the greatest of the creatures, the whale, and said, excuse me, Mr. Whale. The whale said, whoa, what are you doing here? Jason said, I lost my marble. The whale said, you can say that again. <laughs> Jason said, can you help me find it? And the whale said, son. Look at the old ocean lost and found. Down in the bottom of the sea is an oyster who swallows up all that boys and girls lose here. Ask him for your marble. So Jason swam all the way down to the ocean lost and found, and there it was, right there on the bottom of the sea, an old oyster shell. And he said, excuse me, Mr. Oyster, have you seen my marble? But the oyster didn't say anything. Made him mad. You know how it is. So he said, well, I'm going to hit you. Well, he made a fist and he hit that oyster and he, oh, all it did was scrape his knuckles, didn't help at all. So he thought, maybe I should try a gentler approach and he tried tickling that oyster. He went, tickle, 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 tickle. And sure enough, that oyster began to, bah, ha, ha, ha. Tickle, 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 bah, ha, ha, ha. Tickle, 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 bah, ha, ha, ha. And there he found his marble. But it had gone through a sea change into something rich and strange. It had become a pearl. And so he kept that with him all the way because it's his most favoritest thing in all the world. Because right. that's what happens with something that we've lost. Right. It's always much more valuable when we find it again. A great story. Thank you so much. That, well, that, was, Chris. that, was, that was full of lively entertainment. There. <laughs> I like that. that was, but that's something you do for every storytelling session. That, you that is. Storytelling is the original art of animation. Mm -hmm. And if storytelling is like that marble, something that we've lost, we're finding it's much more valuable to bring it back again. You, I said at the top, you talk to adults, you story tell for adults, you story tell for children. Which yeah. one do you prefer? Well, you know what I prefer more and more is when they're all in the same room together, because these days we keep everybody away from everybody else, and right. I think it's good to learn to tolerate each other's company again. I right. know when I know when you go to a restaurant now that everybody's at the yeah. at the dinner table, <laughs> but right. they all have their yeah. phones and That's their electronic right. devices. Right. And storytelling is a great way. I mean, I know I tell stories to my to my sons all the time from that were told to me from my yeah. grandparents and yeah. such. And, and I think that's becoming a lost art. I yeah. really do. Yeah. Well, we're finding it again in yeah. Jonesboro at the International Storytelling Center. And I'm proud to be a part of the Teller in Residence program where I can keep that flame burning. And you're, you've got performances pretty much every day this week. Every day this week, and especially on Saturday morning at 1030, we are inviting families with younger children to come and listen to stories. Uh, and we'll put them all in the same boat and share stories together. Do you like, get, you know, a lot of storytellers put, put forth a lot of effort, but it seems like you put forth even more effort into your storytelling. Well, as I say, it's, it's the art of animation, and to yeah. animate is to give life to, right? right? So uh, when I'm telling a story, I'm being, putting my life into it, and that's how I animate my stories. Now, I don't always use something visual and pretty like that, but for right. the camera, I thought it'd be fun. Right. But uh, I, I'm always trying to find a way to enliven the story so that it can be um, a, a, a telling experience. All right. Dave Novak.
Thank you so much. Chris, A great storyteller, you. and you can catch him this week in Jonesboro, Storytelling Live with David Novak, now through Saturday, Saturday at 10.30 a.m. for that special concert at the International Storytelling right there in Jonesboro.